I've said for a long time that there is dangerous nonsense on social media, and part of my role here, I suppose some kind of public service, is to demystify the law, help you to understand law, and hopefully to dispel any idea that you might have that some videos, such as this one I'm about to show you, have any truth whatsoever. Roll the clip. Defensive knives under 3.5 inches are legal. Legal. So it goes without saying that that video is absolutely, completely, utterly wrong and dangerous nonsense. And yet I find it on TikTok. And there are lots of other videos like this on TikTok as well. And lots of people, I dare say, might be watching that believing that it's somehow true. Because if it's said in some kind of authoritative way, I know that's what I'm doing, but I am a practicing barrister. If people say this in an authoritative way, some people might believe that that is true. But let me tell you what will really happen if you carry one of these concealed weapons around with you. Not only are you going to be charged with being in a public place with a bladed or pointed article under the Criminal Justice Act of 1988, but you'll also be charged with carrying an offensive weapon and using it to threaten harm. Or in the case of the one in that video that I've just showed you, you're also going to be charged under a separate section of the Criminal Justice Act, which is carrying a banned item, which includes a whole list of different things, such as knuckle dusters, sword sticks, that's where it's just a big stick which conceals a sword, hand claws, belt buckle knives, which is literally a belt that conceals a knife inside it, and anything else as well. And under section O, which was inserted into the Criminal Justice Act 1988 at section 141, this was inserted by the Criminal Justice Act Offensive Weapons Order of 1988. This includes any kind of concealed or disguised knife, which is a knife that has a concealed blade or a concealed sharp point, which is designed to appear like any other everyday object commonly carried on the person or in the handbag or the briefcase or luggage or anything else, such as, then it gives examples such as combs, writing instruments, cigarette lighters, keys, lipsticks, telephones, just to name a few. That just quite broadly gives all of those examples, which is anything that otherwise looks like an ordinary everyday object that conceals a knife is banned under this act. And so you will be charged with any number of offences, including this one, carrying and being in possession of a banned item, let alone being in a public place with a bladed article without a good reason, and worse still, if you are using it to threaten harm of another person, these carry minimum sentences and lengthy custodial sentences. So I don't really know the origin of that video, but I suspect that because of the uprising of shops on TikTok, there are companies making cheap items that people will want to to carry, such as those ones there, which look like concealed knives and trying to say somehow that they're legal. I don't know whether they are deliberately misleading to say that it's legal or whether they are just getting the law wrong. Either way, they're getting the law wrong in multiple respects because I suspect they've confused the exception under section 139, which is for a folding pocket knife, such as this thing here. This is a folding pocket knife, but even though it's a legal folding pocket knife, I still don't carry it around because I just don't see the need. Many people have said that a knife is a very useful tool to carry around in public. That's all fine if you are using it for those purposes, but even so, you've got to make sure that it is a legal folding pocket knife and that you're not carrying it for the purposes of self-defense. Which means, by the way, you can't simply carry it with you and plan to tell the police that you didn't carry it for the purposes of self-defense if you whipped it out and used it in self-defense because you will be put to challenge on whether or not you really carried it for the purposes of self-defense. So quite frankly, if a jury doesn't believe you and they come to the conclusion, yes, we think you did carry it for the purposes of self-defense, that makes it an offensive weapon, whether it's a exemption under the act or not. Therefore, you will be carrying an offensive weapon, using it to threaten or cause harm, and you're going to prison. It really is as simple as that. So that's the reason every now and again I do flick through these videos on TikTok because I don't know how many thousands of people have watched that video and think somehow that it's legal. It's dangerously wrong. It's dangerous nonsense. It is not legal for the avoidance of doubt to carry one of these concealed things with you, or any knife for that matter, for the purposes of self-defense. And as I said, you will Will be put to challenge as to whether you really carried it for self-defense or not if you end up using it. So even if you are carrying a folding pocket knife with you that is technically legal under this narrow exemption in the act, I would still say don't use it because 
if you do use it, you're going to be put to challenge, and in my view, a jury is quite likely to think that you did carry it for the purposes of self-defence, meaning that it's not only a bladed article without a good reason in a public place, you've used an offensive weapon to cause harm to somebody else, and so on and so forth. And the bottom line with all that, if they don't believe you, is you're going to prison. So I hope that's been a clear message that videos like this are dangerous nonsense. I'm sure most of you didn't think that it was true, but I had to make this video to make sure that if you did see it, that you're not confused. So so please do like the video and share it with someone that you think will get into an argument with you about this just to put them straight this is absolutely wrong so thank you for watching and please do share the video